sometimes you are on a flea market and find uh, all kinds of components in a plastic bag for say uh, one euro, two euro or etc. And all these components have to be sorted out when you want to use them in your electronic hobby. Um, in fact, it's not very difficult. You can read uh, the, 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 the figures on the components. For instance, here it's a 210 nanofire cap at 1 kilovolt, etc. etc. Often, uh, very good uh, components are sold for a very low price. No problem at all. Test them and measure, for instance, uh, resistors in the quite classical way with an ohms resistor meter. No problem at all. The transistors that are um, sold on flea markets are uh, often very good, but in some cases they are um, not so good and um, were discarded uh, by transistor manufacturers. And in that case it could be that the transistors here have quite different amplification factor when they have the same type number. So test them with your transistor tester. Here is my transistor tester and I'm testing now a transistor that indicates C546B or so. Anyway, um, that's the the most uh, important thing to do. Test the transistors and test your caps and the resistors, etc., etc., and sort them all out in a kind of a uh, uh, system where you can uh, drop down all the resistors by their, their color code. That's what I've done here. Uh, I only use the final color code, so red or orange or yellow. Uh, that means that I have to search sometime for the good resistor, but on the other hand, it's very easy to uh, store these uh, resistors in this way. Not very cumbersome. Easy way to drop them all into their right box. Anyway, um, when you have bought such a bunch of components on a flea market, um, test them, uh, search it all out, and of course use them in your experiments. Often very good quality uh, components are sold at flea markets for a very low price.